In this video, we will discuss implementation of email communications within the PCube product family. PCube can both send and receive email. The purpose of the PCube outgoing email function is to send event notifications as well as trend data. The PCube using incoming email allows for updating the configuration unique to that site or PCube. Email allows for the remote general management of the PCube. Additional information on sending email to and receiving email from the PCube will be discussed in a separate video. Right now we're talking about this tab, and in a separate video we'll talk about these two tabs here. So for setting up PCube email, we need to select the PCube 3 email tab, where we now can see in this location there are three different options for setting up email. There's PSL, this is PowerSide's own email server. There's Gmail, this is the most popular email provider these days. And other, if you want to use something other than the above two emails, such as Yahoo or whatever you choose to use. One thing we need to make sure make a point of is whatever whichever system you use, it needs to be a dedicated email account just for the PCube. Start off with PSL as we walk through the different email providers. So PSLs, this is PowerSide's proprietary email system. The most important thing about this email provider is you don't need to go and create an account for this. Uh, PowerSide will do all this for you. You simply need to write in the serial number of the PCube and click on generate email ID, uh, which I can do here right now. Let's see, so PCube, and I'm going to make up an address or a, um, uh, a password. And I've done that there, and I say generate PCube email account, and it did it. It took care of it all right there on the spot. So all the security settings are set automatically configured. For outgoing email settings, you have the option of different SMTP ports, 26, 465, 587, others. 465 is the default location for, for SSL. And the reason we don't specify a specific port is sometimes an ISP blocks some ports for their own security reasons, and we don't know which one is blocked in your ISP. The PCube 3 is a smart device. It can also receive emails from specific accounts. We'll discuss setting those up in a separate video. So right now we're talking about the PCube 3 emails. In a separate video, we're going to talk about email commands to the PQ and PCube 3 and emails from the PCube. These are the settings for incoming email. You need to enable it if you want PCube 3 to listen to your commands. So here we've checked the email commands, and what it will do is that it will accept an email and take a command from an email that you have defined here in this list. And again, we'll talk about that list separately. This other section here is how often the uh, PCube will check for new email. The default is 300 seconds or, or five minutes. Um, you can go up to 30 minutes. You can do, uh, you can, probably you can do up to one hour. You can go as low as 30 seconds. Again, the default is five minutes. The issue is how often you want the system to check for, um, for new email, depending on how fast you want to or quickly you need to implement some command that has to be executed. And this is the SSL encryption setting for incoming email. Whether encrypted email communication is required, that's up to you. And we support both POP3 and IMAP. IMAP syncs messages across all devices. Well, POP3 is another protocol for receiving email on a single device. The second email provider is Gmail. You can see where I have removed the information related to PSL since we're now talking about Gmail. To configure email using Gmail, it starts with a new Gmail account. You will need to go to Google to set this up. We recommend that the Gmail address be the PCube serial number, and the account has been configured for IMAP and less secure access. For additional instructions on setting up a Gmail account for use of the PCube, we have a tech note in the support section on the PowerSide website. Once you have an email ID and password, you can write those credentials here. So, as I said, I'm going to make up a serial number for the, uh, for the Gmail account. And I can work on typing. And then, just to keep things simple, I'm going to keep the password the same as the account. So, there you go. These are the ideal settings for outgoing email using Gmail. 
This is the SMTP server for Gmail, smtp.gmail.com, where port 587 is most appropriate for it. We do want to use SSL. If you expect to be sending email commands to the PCube, you'll need to check this box. Details on email commands will be covered in a separate video. We talk about commands to and emails from the PCube. So the last way of setting up email is other. We talked about PSL, we talked about Gmail, and there, but there are lots of other email providers out there. And just to save some time, I pre-populated this information, but, but it's all the same thing. So you, if you want to use Yahoo, for example, I did here, and again, this is just a makeup account name. There's a, uh, you need to go to Yahoo, establish an account. I'm calling it PQ uh, at yahoo.com. I've established a, a, um, uh, a password that has the minimum number of eight characters. Uh, again, looking at information from Yahoo, I know the I know the server name and the port for outgoing email and for incoming email. Again, I know that information from Yahoo. So that's it. Email is an incredibly useful function within the PCube and well worth your time to set up, be able to manage this device and understand how it all works together correctly.